Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A lot of people message me and ask me about the different brands that they should be boycotting if they don't support Israel. Well, things are connected in such a way when it comes to products and services that uh, almost everything has uh, Israel on it. That is uh, the sad fact. Uh, but at this very moment, if you want to really make an impact, then I would say that uh, first of all, you need to understand the way things work. McDonald's in Israel gave away 4,000 meals a day when uh, children and uh, the innocent people in Gaza were dying because of hunger and uh, water. And uh, the other McDonald's in other countries, which are franchisees of uh, McDonald's, which means they just buy a license and uh, they can run their own company or own McDonald's, they say, they say that they, they don't actually stand with the values of the McDonald's in Israel. McDonald's in USA is the head entity, okay? That's the boss. In any company that you worked with, you do know that uh, when there's a boss, they can decide what is to be done with their brand or not. And if somebody tells me that McDonald's, the headquarter in USA, has no say when it comes to uh, McDonald's in Israel, then that's the biggest lie you could ever say or hear. McDonald's in USA has a say in this and they can decide and they can impose on McDonald's in Israel that they're not allowed to associate themselves into these kind of political issues because that is McDonald's brand. You get it? And when McDonald's in other countries, Muslim countries are reacting to it and uh, they're saying what they're saying i 100 percent agree that uh, they are not in it they don't want to uh, support this kind of nonsense this kind of inhumane behavior that that a food giant is uh giving away food to criminals while innocent children are dying when it comes to McDonald's in Muslim countries, of course, they have their own franchise models. So they will be affected. Sadly, that's the whole that's the whole thing. They will be affected. There's no way around it. Of course, if somebody mess around in another country, they are going to be affected by that as well. Number two, let's move on now. So you have to decide yourself if you want to boycott the McDonald's or not. Because uh, what I'm trying to say is, McDonald's headquarters in USA could have said it and they should have actually put a statement out that we do not support what McDonald's in Israel is doing and we have asked them to stop it because they are getting the profit share right into their deep pockets no matter how you say it no matter how you see it so I for one I'm going to be boycotting McDonald's and I'm going to be tagging them as well. I would uh, recommend that you do you do that as well because if you don't tag them, the investors who are interested in money, they're going to be following the trends and they will be backing out and putting their s stocks out as well. Number two, Starbucks. I've seen the webpage of uh, Starbucks uh, since the last war. What they call it all the time war is only as i said before between two people who are the same level what's happening in palestine is not war that's genocide so um about starbucks bill ackman if you don't know, know about bill ackman bill ackman has the most shares in starbucks and uh, he's the guy who wants to blacklist harvard students who support palestine so let that sink in. Every cup of coffee, espresso, cappuccino, whatever you take from uh, Starbucks is supporting Bill Ackman as well. And he's supporting Israel. So what does that make you?